Hi everybody, today I'm here with Maya and Sung and today I'm planning to film a prompt. I was supposed to film this ages ago guys so sorry I'm behind but I really felt that I wanted to make this prompt today and it's a prompt started by Petuk here on YouTube. I'll put a link below to her channel and to the video as well. But I really liked this prompt and I really really wanted to join in and make a video about it. So her question was, are stories important? Well my answer to that would be no, they're not important really. They're not, it's not a compulsory thing that you have to do when you get your dolls. Because like, you know, it's your doll, you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to just have it to look pretty, you know, because dolls are very beautiful. If you just like a sculpt and you know like a costume or a full set doll you want it just to be on display you can buy it to be on display you know it's your doll you can do whatever or if you want to make a story you can do that too <laughs> i personally from a child i've really, really loved stories and storytelling and characters so whenever I had a doll when I was a child, I always had to, I didn't have to, but I just naturally kind of create a character or a personality for my doll. And for me, it just brings the doll to life for me. It adds character to them. It just helps me bond with the doll and it just brings them to life. I have a thing about bringing things to life in my mind because I like to use my imagination with things so sometimes <laughs> I even like bring to, to life I can bring to life teddies in my mind or random objects it just depends really but especially with, with dolls like they have to have a personality for me I just love to imagine them in my mind how they would speak how they behave with each other, their mannerisms, everything. I can see it in my mind whenever I look at my dolls when they have a strong character. With Maya, um, when I got her, I kind of knew immediately what kind of character she'd have. Just by looking at her face, like she had, to me, she's got a very strong kind of personality and she's very chatty. And she's mysterious, but she's also very kind and caring and everything. I can imagine her little voice in my head. It just brings her to life for me. She's no longer just a doll to me. She's actually a, a miniature person, really, with a life and history and depth and character. And whenever I discover a character or, like, create a story... To create depth for them it also helps me bond a lot with my doll it helps me whenever I like I'm buying clothes for them I know what styles to buy for them or really in relation with other dolls as well it helps me with that too it's just it's just a wonderful thing being able to imagine her like in her life in her world you know living daily what she'd be doing and what she'd be up to and everything and how she relates to her friends and everything it's just wonderful <laughs> it's like I created my own little world and I really love doing that it's why I really love stories and characters I just love getting into someone else's head and seeing their life and how they live I just find the whole story thing really fascinating the same thing with song really um, when I got him I looked at his little face and he looked back at me. I could just see oh, the type of character he had. He's very gentle and he's more introverted than Maya, but he's still like really loyal and quite strong inside. Like he's not a pushover, even though he may be quiet. He's just such a sweet boy and Maya's my sweet girl. And to me, they're my two special little people that I really care about. And I really love their characters and what they stand for and what they love. And I love creating more in their story for them. Because right now I'm developing their twins. I don't know if I told you this. They're in the story together. And I'm developing a story for both of them. Together and individually as their own characters. And it's been a really fun experience for me. Like I love creating stories and characters and everything. 
so it's been really fun and I'm still in the process of creating their characters and creating more depth to them and their lives and their history and everything so when I've like when I'm ready to share I will share with you guys what I've come up for them and their story and everything and I'll show you where I'm going with them what my plans are for them in the future because they are not complete at the moment I've had Maya longer and she's like she's getting there but she's not quite there yet I'm planning on buying her a new wig to you know get closer to how I envision her to be because before when I was looking at her doll sculpt when I was going to buy her I envisioned what kind of look I wanted for her and what kind of story she was going to have initially so when this wig came it's been it was a nice first wig for her but I think she needs a change now something to bring her more to life of what I envisioned her to be like initially so yeah I think a new wig will really help and I've spotted one I want to get so I'm hoping to get it soon and also she's going to be getting new eyes as well so will her brother he's wearing his default eyes they are not what I want him to wear he's meant to have his character's meant to have these emerald green eyes and I found the perfect eyes for him also I found eyes for Mayor as well so I'm hoping to order them together but at the moment they don't seem to be both in stock so I've got to check on the website and see if I can get them together to help save on shipping but they're still a work in progress plus I plan also on working more on their face ups as well to because although I, I really do like their default face ups it's quite nice but it doesn't quite speak to me yet how I want it to so I need to learn how to practice my face up before I even attempt to touch them with a brush because I don't want to mess them up but their face ups are going to have more work done for them in the near future hopefully so that'll be one thing I'll be updating you on as well so sorry for the long ramble but that was my response to Petuk's lovely prompt. I really love this prompt. I just had to join in because how could I not? I am a person who loves stories and characters and I had to share with you all what plans I have for my dolls and how I bond with them and what I do with them in this hobby. So to me, they are not dolls and anyone who treats them like objects or things, I tend to get really upset because to me they have they are small people and you know you can't just treat them and throw them around like they're pieces of plastic <laughs> so anyway thank you Petok for your wonderful prompt that's enough babbling from me and I'll see you all in my next video with further updates thank you guys for watching bye